right in an equation for a linear function, w, where w of 42 is 230.8 and w of 74 is 819.6. To write an equation, we're going to use our point slope form. So we're ultimately looking to be able to fill in y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The problem is we do not have all the information that we need. And we're given w of 42 equals 230.8 and w of 74 equals 819.6. These are points. When we look at these as points, the number inside the parentheses is our x and the number outside the parentheses is our y. So the first point that we're given is 42, 230.8. And the second point that we're given is 74 and 819.6. When we have two points, we can use those to figure out the slope. Remember the slope is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. We can label these points. This is the x of our first point, so x1. This is the y of our first point, so y1. This is x of our second point, x2, and y of our second point, y2. So substituting everything in, y2 we have is 819.6 minus y1. We labeled that one for 230.8 all over x2, we have a 74, and x1, we have a 42. If we do our subtraction, this works out to be 588.8 on the top, and 74 minus 42 is 32 on the bottom. And that will give us a slope of 18.4. Well, now we have a slope. So now we can go to our point slope form equation of a line and we can fill everything in. We do not fill in anything for y or x. We leave those. But we can fill in for y1. y1, we labeled it right here as our 230.8. So we have y minus 230.8 equals m, which we just solved for 18.4 times x minus x1 we have labeled as 42. We can distribute. So y minus 230.8 equals 18.4x minus 18.4 times 42 gives us 772.8. And then add because we want to get y equals so we need y by itself. So we'll add our 230.8 to both sides. And we're left with y equals 18.4x minus 542.